Well, hello and welcome to The Zone. I'm your host, Big Wave Dave. So this is the second video in our amazing design series. Today, we're going to talk about spiders. So where did spiders come from? Well, the Bible tells us that God created everything in just six days. Now, on day six of creation, God created the land animals, all kinds of land animals, lions and tigers and bears and giraffes and spiders. Okay, so that's what the Bible says. But is there any evidence that God created spiders? Yes, there is. You see, when you stop and take a close look at spiders, you will see amazing design. So I have a question for you. This is my latest toy, this remote control spider. And he goes left and right and up and down. And I am having so much fun. I love to chase the cat with this guy. So here's my question. Do you think that my spider created itself? Well, of course not. Somebody really smart made that. But you know what? Compared to real spiders, he's actually quite simple. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with spitting spiders. So these spiders get their name because of the way that they capture their prey. You see, rather than wait for a bug to get caught in their web, they actually bring the web to the bug. So when they see a bug that they want to eat, they'll just squirt it with spider silk. Something scientists have found out when they took a closer look that they do this by alternating the web stream from two different fangs, which forms a net which traps the bug. That's really cool, and it's really fast. So they wanted to find out, okay, how fast is this happening? So they set up a laboratory with, in a dark room with special cameras, and they timed it. Here's what they found. It only takes one seven hundredth of a second for this attack to happen. That means that he could do this 700 times in one second. That is really fast. So, you know, just like our toy spider here, if you see something really complicated like the spitting spider, you know that somebody really smart made it. Spitting spiders show amazing design. Speaking about spider webs and spider silk, spiders use this silk for all kinds of reasons. Let's look at seven of them. So the first one is, is obvious. It's what most of us think of. They use it to make webs. But did you know that spiders use different types of silk for their webs? Some parts are really strong and not very sticky. That, that helps the spider walk on it. Other parts are really soft and sticky, and that's where they trap the bugs. Now, another reason that they'll use these is for safety lines. You see, some spiders are really fragile, so if they fell, they would die. So to prevent that, they'll actually tether themselves using spider silk as they go from place to place. Spiders, will, they'll make these cocoons out of silk to protect their eggs. So if you see something like that in the wild, there's a chance that those are spider eggs inside. Did you know that spiders can actually eat their webs? So let's say that a spider's not having any luck. He just hasn't had any bugs fly into his web for a few days. No problem. He could just eat his web. It doesn't sound very good, but hey, at least he'll survive. Spiders also use the silk to make nests and different you know, layers for them to, to hang out in. There's a special type of silk that spiders use that are called signal lines or alert lines. Now, what these are is they'll spread these out, and when a bug hits the web, it sends the vibration transmits to the spider, and it says, aha, lunch is served. Finally, some spiders will actually use their silk as guidelines to help them find their way back to their lair at the long, at, after a long day of hunting. Did you know that spider silk is really strong? it's actually stronger than steel. I found this really cool book that's talking about how people are trying to find uses for spider silk. And this was a really cool quote. A rope of spider silk, just one inch thick, could stop a 747 airplane, a real one. So Spidey here wants to give that a try. Let's see how it goes. Ah! Whoops, looks like Spidey forgot to tie the other end to something. Hang in there, Spidey. All right, let's get back to talking about spiders. This is one of my absolute favorites, the Porsche jumping spiders. They have a lot of unique abilities. First of all, they have really good eyesight. This helps them see their prey from long distances. And because they are belong to the jumping spider family, they are really good jumpers. 
check this out. <laughs> Porsche spiders can jump up to 50 times their body length. And just to give you an idea of how far that is, that's like a football player standing in one end of the field and in one jump, touchdown! Boy, I bet you a lot of people want that guy on their team. So they have excellent eyesight and they're really good jumpers, but here's the reason that they are my favorites. These spiders are really, really smart. So I saw a video the other day about how they hunt, and I'll kind of walk you through what I learned. Portia spiders hunt other spiders. So here's Portia right here, and then there is the spider that she wants to eat. Now there are a couple problems here. The first is this. That other spider is a lot bigger than Portia, so she's got to be really careful or it's going to eat her. The second thing is, how is she going to get to that spider? because that web is hanging in the air. If she tries to climb on the web to get him, well, the other spider's gonna get her. But did I mention they're really smart? These spiders know how to plan their attack. So here's what she's gonna do. First, she's gonna jump to the tree. After that, she's gonna climb up the tree. And then from there, she will climb just over the other spider web and then lower herself down just above the other spider. And when the time is right, gotcha! If you see something really complicated like Porsche spiders, what do you know? Somebody really smart made them. These spiders show amazing design. We could talk about different types of spiders all day long, but here's another one, trapdoor spiders. Now they get their name from, by the way that they hunt. So I found a video I wanted to share with you. I don't know about you, but those guys are a little creepy. Let's talk about a spider that's a lot more fun. Peacock spiders. Now, why are they called peacock spiders? Well, it's because the way that they love to strut around. Look at this guy. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Over here. Me. What is he doing? He's actually trying to attract the attention of female spiders because he's looking for a wife. What a show off. Now, when scientists took a closer look at the spider, they discovered something very interesting. They have scales on their back, and depending on the angle of the scales, it breaks light into the different color spectrums, so they can make tiny little rainbows. Is that cool or what? Now, when you see something really complicated, what do you know? Somebody really smart made it. And these spiders show amazing design. Now, sadly, atheists, people that don't believe in God, when they look at toys like this remote control spider, they admit, hey, somebody really smart made that. But when it comes to the real thing, they say, oh no, it made itself. You think I'm kidding? Check out this quote. Biologists must constantly keep in mind that what they see was not designed, but rather evolved. In other words, it somehow made itself. Boy, I bet you that makes God sad when he hears people talk like that. Because we know better, don't we? 
We know that when something is designed and complicated, that somebody really smart made it. And who made the spiders? Well, God did, just like the Bible says. Here's an interesting question that somebody asked me the other day. Why did God design spiders to kill? That's actually a great question. To find the answer, we have to go back to the very beginning. Now, in the beginning, when God first created the world, everything was perfect. There was no pain, death, or suffering. In fact, the Bible tells us that all the people and the animals ate plants for food. You say, now, time out, wait a minute. Spiders eating plants? Oh, yeah. In fact, even today, there are certain species of spiders that are vegetarians. They eat plants. Now, after Adam and Eve sinned and the world fell, that changed. Then spiders would start to use their skills to eat other, other spiders and insects. Well, that's all the time that we have together today. I'm Big Wave Dave, and I hope to see you soon here on The Zone. God bless you, and have a great day.